Batman Arkham VR was definitely not what I expected it to be. I was expecting a sensory experience whilst flying over Gotham, peering down, fighting with my own vertigo, as well as the criminal underworld. But what I got is what I would expect from an iPad if they went VR. Where you click triangle to move to already dictated positions and look for ways to use your weapon on inanimate objects. First run takes anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes, but can be run in anything under 30 minutes if you know what you are doing. The Riddler's Secrets adds to its replayability slightly, and if you want to get the most from the game, calibrate it to standing up and stay standing throughout, as the sitting down option really takes a lot out of the game. Its saving grace is the final scene, which I enjoyed immensely. It's unpredictable, tense and scary, but finishes off the game abruptly. I score this game 5 batarangs out of 10, and remember to like and comment below, and subscribe to be the first to see our next review. This is V3D Gaming, I'm Verse3D, and that is Batman Arkham VR.